Before we proceed further in this course and learn about other data types which we have in TypeScript, let's continue the session which we started in the last lecture. So in this lecture, we will learn how to specify a data type explicitly to a variable or to a function parameter. And then we will also talk about something called as type inference. So let's go to VS Code. And here I have commented the code from the previous lectures. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function and I'm simply going to call this function as sum. And this function is going to take two parameters, num1 and num2. And from within this function, I simply want to return the sum of num1 and num2. Okay. Now, what we want is we want to use this sum function to add two numbers. For that, we can simply call this sum. And there, we can specify the value for num1 and num2. So, for example, 12 and 13. Okay. And it is going to return us a value. Let's simply go ahead and let's log that value in the console like this all right let's save this file let's compile this app.ts file using tsc space app.ts command and you'll see 25 is logged here so this is the correct result the sum of 12 and 13 is 25 but what i can also do is instead of passing two numbers here i can also pass a string and a number and we will not get any error because here we have not specified any data type for this num1 and num2 right we want to use this sum function only to add two numbers but since we have not specified the data type for num1 and num2 parameter we can pass any type of value to this num1 and num2 so again if i save the file here and again if we compile app.ts you will notice that in the result we have 1213 and this is an unexpected result because here what we wanted is we wanted to add 12 and 13 but since we are passing 12 as a string value here this num1 is going to store a string value and num2 is going to store a number value so when we are using this plus operator on a string and a number it is basically going to convert this num2 also to a string and then it will concatenate these two string values right so since we are not specifying the data type of this num1 and num2, the type of value which we want to expect for this num1 and num2 parameter, we can pass any type of value to this num1 and num2 parameter. But in TypeScript, we have this option to explicitly specify what type of data we want to get for some parameters. For example, for this num1, I only want to receive number type so i can specify its type as number like this and for this num2 also i only want to get a number value and now you see when we are passing numeric values here we are not getting any error but when we are passing a string value for this num1 since it is expecting a number you see we have this error so now we will get a compile time error whenever we try to assign any other type of value to this num1 or num2 parameter apart from number type and this is the advantage we have when we use typescript because in javascript we cannot do something like this right so in javascript for num1 and num2 if we only want to receive numeric values we will have to write some if else statement and then we will have to do data sanitization and all those things but in TypeScript, it is as simple as this. We can simply specify the type of value which we want to receive for that parameter. So in TypeScript, we can identify any bugs or any issues which we can introduce. But in JavaScript, we cannot do that. In JavaScript, since we don't have any option to specify the data type for num1 and num2, there we will not get any error like this. And in that way, we might introduce some bug in our code. So here we are basically specifying the type for the parameters. Then we can also set a type for a variable. For example, let me go ahead and let me create maybe n1. And I want this n1 to be of number type. So let's use this number here. And let's assign 10 to it. Then let's also create another variable n2. This also should be of number type. And to this, I'll assign 20. And here, let's remove this console.log statement. 
and here I want to pass n1 for num1 parameter and here I want to pass n2 for num2 parameter and you see we don't have any error because both n1 and n2 are of number type so if I save the changes if we compile this app.ts we should get the result as 30 as you can see now here we are explicitly specifying the data type of n1 and n2 but we actually don't need to do this so if i remove this data type and if we hover over this n1 or n2 variable so for example if i hover over this n1 you will see that the data type of n1 is inferred as number because we are storing a numeric value to it so its data type has been inferred as number in the same way for this n2 also the data type of this n2 has been inferred as number and this is called as type inference in typescript when we assign a value to a variable the data type of that variable is automatically inferred based on the value with which we have initialized it in this case we have initialized this n1 with this value 10 this 10 is of number type so the data type of this n1 has been set to number and once its data type is inferred and set we cannot change its data type so in javascript you can create a variable like this you can assign a number to it and later if you want you can assign any other type of value to it for example a boolean value like this but that will not work in typescript because here the data type of this n1 it is already inferred as number and it has been set as number so later if you try to assign any other type of value to that variable it will throw an error so it says type boolean is not assignable to type number here we are trying to assign a boolean value to number type and that's why we have this error so once the data type of a variable is inferred and set we cannot change the data type of that variable we always need to store the same type of value in that variable I hope this point is clear so if I try to assign a numeric value to it in that case we will not get any error so this all right here we need to assign n1 okay so this n1 is of number type and after assigning 10 to it we are trying to reassign it with this value 1000 so we are not getting any error but if I try to assign a string value to it we will get an error and it says a string is not assignable to type number because n1 is of number type and we can only assign a numeric value to it we cannot assign string value to it and same is true for other data types also for example if i create a string variable let's say str and to this if i assign hello you will notice that the data type of this str is inferred and set to string so if i try to assign any other type of value to it for example a numeric value it will throw an error and it says that type number is not assignable to type string because the data type of this str variable it has been inferred as string and it has been set as string so we can only assign a string value to it we cannot assign any other type of value to it okay so as we learned if we want we can explicitly specify the data type of a variable something like this so this will also work but we don't need to do this because typescript automatically infers the data type of a variable based on the value which we have initialized it with here we are initializing this n1 with this numeric value so its data type will be inferred as number so what is type inference in typescript when we assign a value to a variable the data type of that variable is automatically inferred and set and that data type cannot be changed later in the program and that's why we say that typescript is strongly typed javascript is dynamically typed in javascript let me open a javascript file here so in javascript when we have created this n1 variable later if we want we can assign a value of any other type to this n1 variable for example i can assign a string value to it like this and we will not get any error initially we assigned a number to it and later we are trying to assign a string to it and we are not getting any error so this is how javascript works javascript is dynamically typed 
the data type of a variable is set based on what data we have assigned to it initially we assigned 10 to it so the data type of this n1 variable was number and later we are assigning a string to it so its data type changed to string so here as you can see in javascript the data type of a variable can change based on what value we are storing in it but in typescript that is not the case in typescript once the data type of a variable is set let me close this app.js file so here when we assign this value 10 to this n1 variable its data type was set to number as you can see and once it is set to number its data type now cannot be changed we cannot go ahead and assign a string value to it in order to change its data type to string that is not possible in typescript and that's why typescript is strongly typed but javascript is dynamically typed now here in this function let's also specify one more parameter let's call it maybe is print and let's say for this is print we want to receive a boolean value okay now when we are calling this sum function we are only passing value for num1 and num2 let's also pass a value for is print and let's pass true here so what we want is if this is print is true so before returning from here let's say we will check if is print so if the is print is true let's say we will log a message and here let's say sum equals and then we want to display the sum of num1 and num2 so here let's create a variable let's call it maybe s equals num1 plus num2 and here let's say sum equals s which is the sum of num1 and num2 let's save the changes let's compile this app.ts file and here we'll say sum equals 30 but if we pass false here in that case you will not see that message so let's save the file again let's compile this app.ts and now you will not see that message sum equals and the sum of num1 and num2 because this message will only be printed if this is print is true then let's also create another variable let's say message and let's say this is going to be of type string and now what we want is instead of using this string value here we want to use that message string and i'll also add a space after that message okay so now it is expecting four parameters so let's also pass a value for the message parameter and there let's say the message is sum is equal and let's save the changes and here let's also set it to true because then only the message will be printed let's save the changes let's compile this file again and you see sum is equal to 30 so it is printing the same message which we passed here but here if we try to assign any other type of value to this message here we have set the data type of this message as string if we try to assign any other type of value like for example number we will get an error so that's why remember that typescript is strongly typed in typescript a variable can have only one data type its data type cannot be changed this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.